quite a cheeky little title. They were all wrong. But what I want to tell you today is that you can be writer than you think. Where am I going with this? I'm talking about your own perception of the market and where you get your information from and to be wary of where it's coming from and who you're listening to and then how you're implementing that in your investment strategies. Thanks again for joining me on my channel here on YouTube. It's Jason Pizzino. Let's get stuck into it. And really we're looking at the psychology around investing and our own personal beliefs when it comes to the market. I found this to be a really interesting topic lately, especially in the current environment that we're seeing ourselves because there are a lot of people that are continuing to repost ideas from other thought figures in the world of finance. Now I know these guys just aren't thought figures. They are probably the most wealthiest, most successful investors in the world currently living or in history. They're up there, they're huge. And I'm talking about, like I've seen on my thumbnails, probably the Warren Buffetts, Ray Dalio, George Soros, all these sorts of guys that have made billions and billions of dollars, a lot more than I'll probably ever see in my lifetime. So why is it me telling you that you can do better than these guys? It's really because it's not necessarily the guys that are saying their beliefs online, it's the other guys like myself, like anyone else you see on the internet that are reposting their ideas as their own and you start to lose faith in what it is you believe in and how it is that you invest and I want to be here to tell you that you can do just as well without people to listen to including me you don't need to listen to me you don't need to listen to other people on the internet you just need to do some study and some research and invest in the market yourself however big or small it is whatever you can afford to lose comfortably and not worry about it overnight because that is the best teacher and I'm sure these guys Ray Dalio, Warren Buffett, any other big traders, investors you can think of, they would say get into the market, obviously with stuff that you can afford to lose, but that's the only way you're gonna get the experience, the know-how, the feeling, the psychology. It's creating your own trading plan around what it is that you wanna invest in. That's how you're gonna get the experience because regardless of what you can learn from a video or from a book or from any of the other talking heads online, you'll never understand what it's like to be active in a market unless your money is in the market. So really I've used these legendary traders and investors as a scapegoat, basically an example to say that they have done wrong. They've all been wrong in the past. They've all been wrong recently. We're gonna differ on our views here, probably on our opinions, especially with what you see online with uh, the more popular YouTubers out there that are in the finance space. A lot of people believe Ray Dalio called this coronavirus fall and there are many reasons to support that. In particular, he was looking for the monetary system to collapse and I don't see the monetary system collapse. That's not to say that it won't in the future and it's not to say that there are huge problems with it at the moment. Not to say that there are huge problems in the US equities market, uh, the business sector, the international trade, the list goes on. It's not to say that there are no problems with this, there definitely are but a lot of people have been calling for this part of the cycle or at least this time in the market to be the end to be the, the great depression that they've all been waiting for since 1929 and i just don't see it there are a few reasons why and i'll get into those shortly but i really want to emphasize the point that you have the ability within you to become a great trader or a great investor regardless of what you hear and what you see out there like i said two seconds ago it really just comes down to time in the market recording your results and then learning from your experiences where the great or huge failures exactly what i mean by the title they've all been wrong before they've all been wrong recently ray dalio warren buffett even recently i made a video last week about warren buffett how he bought delta airline just a couple of months ago was saying that he was buying more of that stock and then we see just now just last week him selling off a portion of that stock and sort of got into a position that was a bit too big for what he wanted bought over 10 percent of the company itself and that puts him into a different classification for the sec so there's another mistake already there from warren buffett and from ray dalio now all these three plus many many more have one major thing in common and they all believe the US dollar is going to collapse. They all think there are huge problems with the US dollar. So to reiterate the point of the video, meaning you've got the ability to find out the answers you need to yourself and create your own plan, I'm gonna go down the path of the US dollar. And so at first I was in the camp of the US dollar getting destroyed. Obviously I'm 
heading into the crypto space, I really believe in cryptocurrency long term, but it's possible that many of us have had our timings put out of place. And that's why I want to reiterate to really formulate your own opinion, especially when it comes to something that is so popularized on the internet, uh, like gold, buying into gold because the dollar's got to collapse. It just has to. There's so much of it being printed that it must collapse. They've all been wrong before. They'll probably be wrong in the future. I don't want to be in that camp. So I'm really trying to get out there to devise my own reasoning and really believe in it. And how to do that is to obviously learn about it. I'm going to listen to someone else, learn what they're talking about. But like I said before, it's about coming up with my own plan and my own strategy so that I feel confident in the decisions that I make moving forward in investing. One thing I heard recently, and this is to do with the US dollar possibly not collapsing the way people believe it will, is that the US dollar will in fact continue to rise. And if we look recently, we had a huge drop on the US dollar initially, and then a huge spike went from somewhere in the low to mid 90s, all the way up past 100, about 103 it reached. This is on the DXY, so the dollar index futures contract. And the reason being, I've found from a guy called Brent Johnson, uh, he is the CEO and founder of Santiago Investments. So this is Brent's theory, and obviously at the beginning of the video I said, you gotta do your own research and figure out how you can get these things to work for you. So looking at Brent's theory, it just made so much sense to me. And then I decided to look further into it and see if I could break the theory so that I can then test it and be more confident in it myself. Now I'm still in that process of seeing if I can break the theory. I'm not trying to say that I'm going to be smarter than Brent, but I just have to get a theory and then put it into my own words essentially. So that I'm not going over and plagiarizing his work because we all know that once you plagiarize something, it doesn't feel like it's yours and it's not something that you can believe in long term. And that's where we start to falter with our own investment plans. If we're looking for answers elsewhere and we're always trying to find out when we should buy from someone else or when we should sell, getting tips from elsewhere, we know that doesn't work long term. So we really have to break these things down and make it feel like it's our own. Even if we just change it slightly or we learn about it a lot more and do a little bit more research into the history of how this could work. That's all part of making it our own. So the very brief explanation of Brent's dollar milkshake theory is that there is a lot of US dollars. And don't get him wrong that he still does believe that there's going to be a big crash at some point. It's just the timing that is usually out and that's where the money is made. And with this dollar milkshake theory, he believes that there is going to be a bigger rise in the US dollar being that there is a lot of money being printed, but there's also a lot of money out there that is needed. There's a lot of US dollars that is needed out on the open market outside of the US. And using this currency outside creates more demand for it. And it's loaned out, and if it's not paid back, then that gets canceled off, that debt gets wiped. Obviously there are some default problems over there, but then that reduces the supply of the debt again. Last count, something that I heard was around $13 trillion of money needed outside of the US. The US has just said they wanted to print $6 trillion. So there's still a lot of money required outside for liquidity. So there is use case for the US dollar. As crazy as that sounds, and as much as we think gold should be the new standard or Bitcoin should be the new standard you know, currency reserve that everyone should use, at the moment, this is what we see. And if we're not true with ourselves using what is actually happening, then that can lead to losses and some problems further down the path. So part of my research, my back testing on these theories is to check out what these people have said earlier. And I know we're all in the habit of checking out what the latest video is and looking at the information in that and then trying to play it out for ourselves and use it in our own plan and look for tips. But what I like to do is, is to go back in time on YouTube, which is fantastic, and see what these guys had been saying in the past, one year back, two years, five years back. If you can find stuff out there that's 10 years old, it's also a great way to see how on track they have been with their message, whether they've changed their message along the way to suit the market, pretty much to suit what people are wanting to hear. And you'll know that people want to hear stuff around the US dollar is going to crash right now. They want to hear gold is the new currency. 
And so when you say something against it, it ruffles feathers and people really dislike that. And so they don't want to continue making content around those sorts of topics. So in this case, I went back and I found a video on Brent a year ago. Uh, he was on some Indian news channel. I'll leave a link to that down below. You guys can check that out. It's along the lines of pretty much what he's currently saying now. And what he has said back then has played out to a similar effect. And you've got to understand that none of this stuff is going to be 100%. One thing I found from that video was Brent was in firm belief that the US dollar would rise. It had a bit of a point where it was breaking through and moving around support and resistance. So I needed to break through the 98 level. Lo and behold, just in the last few months it has, and it looks like it is starting to make a move to break out again. So his theory looks like it could be coming to fruition. So I've still got a little bit more research to do within this theory. Like I said, we can all be wrong. This could completely be wrong and it's out of the question. But when I first heard it, it really grabbed my attention and so I'm going to look into it a little bit further and I suggest you guys do the same if this has piqued your interest. I don't see it in the everyday finance news space, social media or any other media. So I think it's a very interesting one to have a look at. I suggest you do the same. I'll leave a link to another video I was watching of his down below. It was an interview on another YouTuber's channel. I think it was the name George. Uh, great interview. Go and check that out as well. It's more research. And that's essentially what I do for these videos. I love to research something, see if I can break it down a little bit further, make a video about it to see if I can explain it, which I suggest you do as well. Make a video, write it out, get something go like a journal and start to see if the thoughts can come to paper and if you can explain it a little bit easier. So go and check it out. Let me know what you think about this dollar milkshake theory, knowing that Brent could also be wrong and then it's up to us to do our own research and be fully confident in the investment decisions that we make. So lastly, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it really helpful, leave a like down below. You'll also find a link to my Facebook in the description down below. Go and check me out there, stay in touch on the daily. And also my Instagram is down there. If you're interested in cryptocurrency, I have a link down there for crypto.com to get you started with your bank account, connected, get yourself some crypto in these beautiful days of accumulation. If you use the referral link down there, you'll get 50 US dollars and I'll also get 50 US dollars once you have bought some of their token. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit the subscribe and the bell notification and I'll see you guys at the next video. Remember, until then, have more fun to get more done.